word that you are uh, commonly used. Oh, correct. Right? Yeah? Oh, thank you. That's right, it's correct. Nah? Okay, so and then you have a retained earning. Uh, where is that? Uh, right, uh, accounts payable, unearned service revenue, finance costs, share capital, retained earnings, dividend service revenue, selling expenses, admin expense, depreciation expense, income tax expense. So you know that these are part of your uh, profit and loss account. Yeah, so these are your profit and loss account. So I would rather. Uh, highlight that first and these are your uh, part of your asset so asset is I put it as green and then this is your liability and oh sorry finance cost what is a finance cost huh is it a liability uh, expenses uh, Huh? Expenses. I think it's uh, an expense, right? But I do not know why is it there. It should be at the bottom. Yeah, finance cost is an expense. And then you have share capital, retail, earning, and dividend, which is part of the uh, statement of, uh, what do you call that? Statement of retail earnings. So, sorry. So, okay. Okay. So, when you get the, the question, all right, try to read every item. So that you get familiar with the account that you already have in your trial balance, the unadjusted trial balance. And you know that, oh, you already have the service revenue account. You have unearned service revenue. All right. So you it, it comes to your mind what these accounts are meant for. Yeah. All right. Then you all have the transaction. And what you're required to do, generalize the journal entries and then prepare statement of profit and loss account. So let's do the journal entries first. All right, record shows that 4,005 of the service revenue had not yet been billed or recorded. So when I say that is revenue had not been billed, it means that you have not recorded that transaction. Yeah, you have not recorded that transaction. So now what you have to do, now you have to record the transaction. So what is the transaction? It means that now you have a revenue, but you have not put that into record. So when you have revenue, it means that you have actually performed services. That of the service revenue, how much is 4,500? So it means that have you received the cash? It does not mention here, it means that you're going to receive that later. So when you have a revenue and then you are going to receive that later, it means that you also have accounts receivable. All right, so what will be the journal entries for A? Huh? What will be the journal entries? Debit service revenue, credit, uh, account receivable. Hold on, yeah. I try to. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Open. You debit your account receivable, credit your service revenue. How much? 4,500. I hope that's still here. Let me do Okay, uh, question, eh, I tak ada pula jawapan Aurelia. Olivia, question number two is, uh, is it Aurora? Aurora? This one is Aurelia. Oh, sudah. Question one is, not this one, is it? Uh, mana pula jawapan dia? Hold on ya. Yeah. Uh, this one is a cruel uh, Aurelia. Is it Aurelia? It's susahnya nama dia. Okay, Aurelia, we got it. Alright, so it means that the where is the general entries? The you debit your account receivable and credit your service revenue. Why? Because account receivable is your debit, is your asset, there's an increase, and service revenue is a revenue credit nature. Okay. And then, uh, mana pula pergi dia ni?
The second one is that you have uh, supplies on hand at 31st December amounting to 1,005. Record supplies used in other operating expense account. Right, so you have to record your supplies here. So where's your other operating? So you have this other operating expense account. So instead of opening a supplies account, all right, you use the other operating expense. So what you do is that now you want to record the 1,500 expense. So how you record, you are going to have other operating expense, debit 800 and credit your supply. So supplies here is actually your asset, all right? From these supplies, initially you have 2,300, but during the year or the period you have utilized or you have used 1,500 of supplies. Yeah, so that's why you have to reduce that supplies in asset. This one is an asset. So you transfer from asset to an expense account. So you have other operating expense 800 and credit your supplies account 800. Okay. The third one is that two thirds of the unearned service revenue has been earned in 2018. So what is unearned service revenue? Two thirds of that. So you have unearned service revenue 3000. So what is two thirds of that? Two-thirds of 3,000 is? Huh. Two-thirds of 3,000 is 2,000, right? So it means that from this unearned service revenue, which is a liability, all right, now you have earned 2,000. So you're going to record that you are going to debit your unearned service revenue because you're reducing your liability. All right, by 2000, now you recognize revenue of 3000. So the, the unearned service revenue is a liability because the revenue has not been earned. But now, but now it has been earned, so you reduce the liability. Service revenue is a, is a revenue account, so that's why you credit 2000 because why now you recognize, uh, you recognize your revenue. Uh, the next one is the the five percent short term loan, and now is due to be paid in full in, on June thirtieth, together with the interest. How the interest on the loan was accrued at the year end. So this one is the most complicated for me, lah. Yeah, the five percent short term loan was, uh, which was issued on July first, two thousand eighteen due to be paid in full on 30th of June 2019 together with the interest. So it means now, because your account closed on 31st of December, so you have to identify what is the interest, all right, you're going to pay the interest in 2019. But end 31st December 2018, you have to recognize the interest that has been incurred for the six months period, all right? So based on the 5% short term loan, the term loan is 20,000. So I think that you... 20,000 times by and by over F, right? So the finance cost here is, uh, how do you compute that 500? So how do you get that 500? 5% short term loan, right? So let's compute what is the 5%, 20,000 short term loan times by 0 0.05 times by 6 over 12. Because why? <coughs> it's only for six months. Yeah, and then you're going to pay that later. So mean that you have the interest expense of 500, but this interest will be payable in June, June 2019. <coughs> so you're going to record a uh, finance cost of 500 and interest payable of 500. So how do you actually get that 500? The, the finance, the, the, the operating, uh, the short-term loan is 20,000 times by the 5% per annum times by 6 over 12. Why 6 over 12? Because you only want to compute interest expense from the month July until December. So there are 6 months there, right? So you only recognize the interest for the half-year period, which is end 31st of December. And then you have additional depreciation not yet recorded. So you're going to record depreciation for office equipment, 3,000 and credit your accumulated depreciation. So this one is very straightforward. And then um, uh, income tax expense, you have income tax expense incurred but unpaid. So you have income tax expense 750 and then you have income tax payable 7, 
750. Alright, uh, I'm calling Dr. Fatima for a while uh, just to check on the cost just now. Right, I've been talking to myself way by. All right, for this question, all right, so you have the 16,000 here. All right, the 16,000, you have seven included is 7,000 cost of, of a motor that increase the efficiency of the machine. So what happened is that now you have major repairs. So repairs is a revenue expenditure. But because of these repairs, you have the 7,000 that will increase the efficiency or the productivity of the equipment by 200%. So that portion that increase the productivity, the 7,000, the cost of the machine or the motto of 7,000 will be capitalized. So instead of having a repairs of 16,000, you only have repair of 9,000. Why? Because 7,000, you, you debit your equipment. Debit equipment, 7,000 because this increased the value of the equipment because now uh, the efficiency increased by 200%. So in other words, you capitalize the cost and the balance of the repair, which is the 9,000, you put under repair expenditure. But credit what? You pay for the repairs of 16,000. So you credit your, your repairs. Yeah. Is that clear? Siapa yang tanya tadi? Yes, madam. Clear? All right. Other than that? Okay. Coming back to the question of... Where is it? All right. So, that, that's your journal entries. And then, when you do your journal... and You are done with the journal entries, then I, I suggest that you transfer all these into a profit and loss account and do adjustment according to the journal entries. Yeah, for example, you have service revenue, then, uh, when did you open you? Your service revenue, when? All right, initially it was, remember that you have, uh, initially it was 79,000, but then you either plus your service revenue of 4,500, see? Credit 4,500, so that's why you have 
uh, and then you have another one code. Yeah, 2,000 here. So revenue here means that initially it was 70. Uh, that's why I like to do uh, the, I like to put everything from 79,000 plus 4,500. Uh, why is it not? Okay. So the revenue you have this 4500 and then you have another 2000 revenue here so you have initially you have 79000 oh my god so busy ah okay 4005 plus 2000 so you have two adjustment there Right, and then your selling expenses. I think that there's no change in the selling expenses. Selling expenses still twelve thousand. Admin expense remain thirty nine thousand. I think, yeah, remain thirty nine thousand. Depreciation you have addition. Initially it was six thousand. Then you have a depreciation of three thousand here. So you have plus nine thousand plus three thousand. You should have twelve thousand in your depreciation. Right? Now put nine thousand at sini je. Initially, it was oh, 6,000. All right, 6,000 plus 3,000. And then uh, you have other operating expenditure. Initially, it was 7,700. And then you have other operating. So you plus another 800. Yeah, so how you get? 7, 7, so there's 8,500. So you have 8,500 under your operating expense. Finance cost is shown separately. So finance cost, you add another. Initially, you have finance cost. You have 1,000 and then plus another 500 into finance cost here. So you should add 1,500. So that's why I say that start from the original figure and then plug in your journal entries into the respective accounts. Okay. Yeah? Uh, yes. My friend lost uh, her connection and oh. she was... You want to join again? Mana Can you ask her to okay? Admit. Who's Nina only? Yes. Thank okay. you, madam. All right. Uh, what else? Um, all right. And the income tax expense also increases from one thousand. Now you have another income tax expense here, seven hundred fifty. Yeah, you have taken out your depreciation. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Because it's, it's not very This one, it should be the 750 and the expense. Huh? You have finance cost as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, now you move to your, and then finance cost, and then you have income tax expense, profit for the year. So it is, in this case, you only have the finance cost is shown separately. All right, from the other expense, similarly for income tax expense. So again, this is the presentation where you have separately show your interest cost or finance cost and income tax expense in arriving to your profit for the year. Yeah, uh, but if you, if you do not separate that, it's still acceptable. All right, uh, I do not mind, but if you can separate them, then you know that uh, is the presentation required by the uh, accounting body. Yeah. All right, and then now you have profit before tax for the year is 13750. All right, and then Aurelia for the statement of changes in equity. Look at the balance initially. You start your retained earning of 24,000, retained earning 24,000. Then you add this 13,700 into your retained earning. So you have in it now you have 37,750. Your capital does not change. But then you also have a dividend, right? Dividend is taken out from your retained earning, 12,000. So that's why you have your 12,000 here against your retained earnings. Now you have in your soft, all right, you have this 36,000. It should be represented here, all right? And 25,000 is actually the adjusted retained earnings. So how you take the adjustment, you have to take into the initial balance and then you have to do the plug in the profit or loss for the year 
and then minus your dividend. Then you get the adjusted retained earnings of 25750. And other than that, you have all these office equipment, accumulated depreciation. Depends, I think that just now we have depreciation of 3000 here. All right, supplies also reduced. Initially, it was how much for the supply? Supply initially we have 2003, but remember that you have supplies. Uh, where's your supplies? Reduced by 800. Yeah, you minus 800. Hmm. Account receivable, uh, you initially, account receivable is 15,400, but you have the revenue just now. Where's your accounts receivable? Debit, debit. I don't see account receivable. Oh, this one, 4,500. Okay. Cash and uh, cash, cash initially it was 19,800. No change because there's no entries related to your cash payment or cash received. All right. And then your liabilities. All right. You have short term loans still 20,000 accounts payable. Uh, there's no accounts payable here. So there's no change. Unearned service revenue reduced from 3,000. Now we have credited or debited 2,000 here. So that's why now the value is only 1000 income tax payable uh, now we have 750 payable is a liability and then we have interest payable of 500 so as long as you make sure that all the items in your journal entries has been re reflected in the uh, financial statements all right so i think that you should be okay right just make sure that all these item one two three for each all these item is represented or taken into account in your statement of your profit and loss your changes in equity and your financial position question does that help you to understand the topic better yes madam yes madam Okay, any any part that normally you are you are not sure, which one, which one you do you normally not sure, with regard to these accruals. Nothing. So you can do all the question tomorrow. So this is question number three, or we only have two, one, two, and three. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, if you have no other question. Shall we end the class? Uh, I have a question about uh, depreciation. Uh, yes. Uh, for, exa for example, if we purchase one asset in the middle of the accounting period, okay. do we need to count the depreciation based on the month use? Or okay. we just... It depends. It depends there. When you purchase an asset, when you acquire an asset during the year, Right, you have to look at the policy. Just now, for example, you remember that when we do our PPE just now, it says that, all right, we give a uh, depreciation full. See, it says that, uh, like this. Nampak tak? The company provide full year depreciation held at the end of the year and none in the year of disposal. So, it means that even though you buy in the year, in the middle of the year, so full year depreciation is given on the asset. Oh, Does that okay. answer your question? Oh, yeah. Right, Kalau, if the policy is full years depreciation, but there's another policy that says that use the term is hold on, yeah, mana term uh, ownership, right? If they say that, uh, okay, let look at this depreciation, okay, ni. depreciation is calculated based on ownership basis, then only you apportion. So it means that if you buy, if your year end is 31st December. You buy in July, then you have to apportion 6 over 12. Why? Because July to December is only 6 months. So the ownership is only for 6 months. So if the question says that it's a depreciation is calculated based on month of ownership, then you have to apportion. If it does not, if it says that it's a, a just now full year, full year depreciation, then you could just give full year depreciation. Okay, right. got it, madam. Thank okay, you. Okay, clear. Mm. Yes. But then uh, if you say that disposal, no depreciation in the year of disposal, then you don't have to give any depreciation in the year of disposal. Yeah, even though your year end is 31st December, dispose in November. 
So you have 11 months, but you cannot claim your depreciation expense. Yeah? All right. Okay, other than that, other question? Uh, madam, I have a question. Ah. Um, last class punya soalan. Topic? Question, PPE, um, right? Yeah, PPE. Uh -huh. uh, yang dokumen ACC 1101 tutorial PPE, question number 7. Hold on, yeah. Is it the one? Uh-huh, okay. Question number okay. seven, uh, okay. number two. Okay, repairs and annual overhaul of plant. This one is repairs and maintenance. Is that the question? Um, no, no. The question, yeah, oh, the required question. The charge, is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Complete number two. The charge for the year 2018 and report the cost, administration and value of the plant in the statement of financial position as at 31st December. So your question is? Um, I look at a dancer uh -huh. and the answer stated that um started with three six or oh, three six three hundred thousand, but how to get the three six mm. company bought a plan costing six hundred economic life, then the plan is to be distributed using trade line basis full year. And then value cost is incurred. So you have 600,000 plus purchase of spare parts, repair, tak ada. Lower, motivation to the plant that result in lower operating cost. What is that? Replacement of major part of the plant so as to improve efficiency. So this one is included. The cost of the part of the plant being replaced and disposed was 60,000. All right. Compute the depreciation charge for the year 2018. Cost, what is the cost? So in this case, okay, how, how do they get 360,000? What was the answer? Uh, the answer tunjuk dapat 360,000 but okay. it should is start it the one? 900. Um, yeah. Is it? Tapi bukan, bukan. Lain, no, this one is not. Furniture, this one bukan. Uh, tutorial PPA answer. Question number? Seven. This one is it? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, spare parts are to be treated as a prepared expense, charge and expense when used in line with the matching concept. Repair and overhaul to be expense or modification. Reduction in operating costs. Okay. The replacement of costs capitalized. Okay. Depreciation would be, where you get 360,000? I have 600,000 ni. Kan? Yes, I think that. Typo kot. You have yes, 600,000 yes. ni. 600,000 kat sini. Oh, Plus, okay, which okay. is space part is revenue. Repair for revenue. Modification. Lower in, so, this one is added together. And this one is added together kan? So, you should have. um, And uh, you should also have. So, mana berapa? Nah, uh, nah, hundred thousand. Right, kenapa minus sixty thousand tu? Six hundred plus hundred thousand. Nampu ribu tu dapat kalau enam ratus ribu. Tepat dengan dia punya accumulated depreciation dua ratus empat puluh ribu. Oh, oh nak kerja eh? Alright, on January 1st, the company bought a plant costing this, is this, this. And then in 2018, oh 2018 baru dia add on. Hmm. But it's still you have to add on the cost. Hold on, yeah. So 2018 replacement and then briefly explain A and D. Compute the depreciation chart for 2018 and report the cost. Accumulated depreciation and net book value. If I were to do it, okay, let's do this like this. All right, uh, ni apa tadi? Mesin eh? Uh, equipment. Is it? What do you call this? Equipment. Initially, uh, let's see, ah. Uh. Initially, it's 600,000. Okay. And then, your depreciation. 
Depreciation is Mana depreciation dia? See, you already have the, the depreciation expense that was previously provided for this part of the plan was 24,000. So, it means that you have, but you still see 100,000 minus 24,000. Mana datang 360,000? Could it be 240,000? No scrap value. The plan is to be used using straight line method. Right. So means that kalau um, over 10 years, right. So dia punya over this one. So for 2000, 2040. Dia beli 2040, is it? 2040. So this is your depreciation. Right. 2015, 2016, 2017. So 2018, so now we want to compute for 2018. You incur additional cost. Additional cost, so your net book value would be command C, command V. Command C, Tak mahu lah pula. Right, so every year is 60,000. So in this case, your net book value. Net book value plus this one minus this every year. Right, that's why that's how you get the 360,000. Yeah. And then means that in order for you to compute all right the depreciation then you have to add the cost the new cost dia buat macam mana eh? Mm, I would just take this one, right? Uh, for example, in 2018, you have additional cost of 100,000. Alah. 100,000 dengan 200,000, right? So, total dia 300,000. Total macam tu ke? How do you do actually this? Macam pelik. Macam why, why is it so complicated? Two zero one eight. The depreciation. Hmm. Yeah, the disposal made them uh, ah, ribu. Bila the disposal ya? Uh, dekat information yang di bawah dia ada tulis Oh uh. ada disposal lah pula dia so ada, ada minus 60,000 tu For this part it's only the 24,000 Oh I missed that information Alright so maknanya sekarang macam ni je Kalau I lah You buat macam ni je lah C600 alright Nampak C100,000 Tu yang I buat eh. <laughs> Campur the new cost, 600,000 plus 100,000 is the, 
uh, the the what the hundred thousand ni kan modification minus disposal of two hundred sixty thousand plus two hundred betul lah ni. Lepas tu you ada minus I tulis lah kat sini senang. So, kalau you tengok kat sini total kat sini from six hundred minus sixty plus hundred plus two hundred. 840,000. Betul tak? 800, yang ini 10. This one is whatever you have here, divide by this one lah. Eh, tapi tak boleh lah sebab ni dah tak boleh divide by 10 lagi lah. Macam mana dia buat lah? Ya? Yang ni dia buat tadi 3, 360 lah? Ha? Yang tukar eh? Ya? Uh -uh. Pandai-pandai kan? 360,000. Right, 360 so dia ambil dia punya net book value tau sebab dia nak net book value Kenapa over 6 years lah Because it's the same machine Same machine you add another 100,000 you dispose 160 minus 60 plus 200 Yang ini 840 kita dapat 840 Boleh je lah ambil je lah revise cost tu dia Tak payah buat macam tu. You ambil this part je. Revise cost ni. Ah, yang ni I agree. Right? Yang ni I agree. You ambil this one. You ambil revise cost is 840,000 ni which is actually the original cost. Right? Macam minus disposal plus the new addition, the modification all that. Dia dapat 840. So your accumulated depreciation, this one is mm, this is your Right. Uh, so I tak nak buat yang ni. So you buat je ni lah. Net good value. Tapi kenapa dia um, depreciation on the new 840,000 tu 360 minus 24 Plus 100,000. What do you get at 100,000? Anyone? The uh, depreciation. depreciation. 100,000 tu pada mana? Depreciation untuk tahun ni. 2018. Yang dia kira ke atas tu. 100,000. For 2018. For 2018, you ada uh, ini kan? Hold on lah. You ada 600. Macam mana nak buat? Ha? So for that 600, you tinggal 540 je. Kan? 540 tu maknanya you tend to... Uh, oh. Macam mana dapat 100 lah? 360 tu I faham. And then minus 24 is the disposal. Plus 100,000 tu I tak nampak. Modification... Modification, modification is a hundred and two hundred kan? Uh. Tapi tak sure whether modification tu is still over ten years lah kan? Sama lah kan? Or over... Hmm. Ini I tak sure. It should be over ten years lah juga. Tapi kalau yang ini... Oi susahnya! Hmm. Tak apalah kot yang ni. This one is, uh, I tak sure dah 100,000 tu. 100,000 is, kalau the new asset is 30,000 sini. Alright, the 30,000. Yang 100, 540 tu patutnya over 10 years. Dapat 54,000 lah. 54,000. Campur. This one is only, tak dapat pun 100,000. I do not know lah dia. Kenapa accumulated dia macam tu? Hmm. 
Never mind lah. Soalan ESO tak susah macam ni. Cewa confident. Alright. So if you have uh, your other friends yang you can ask for that uh, answer, maybe you can check with them. Is that okay? Okay, madam. Hmm. Okay, madam. Thank you. Alright. There's nothing more? Um, no. Okay. No. Alright, so I think that's all for today. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Make sure you're on time at 9 o'clock. Uh, what else? Huh? I wish the you question the is on GC or Italy? Mm, I GC, GC. I don't, mm. I, I, I don't use Italim. I, okay. I lost trust in Italim. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you use Italim? Which course do you use Italim? Businessman. Oh. Micro economics. Oh, not accounting lecture, eh? Yeah. Accounting, we don't use uh, Italim so much. Madam, tomorrow we can use Excel, right? Uh, yes, you can use either or. But the Excel must be the one uh, provided in the Google Classroom. You cannot have your own Excel. Okay. Something like that. Yeah? Answer in that. Why is it I cannot stop recording lagi ni? Uh, madam? Yes. We need to join GM. Uh, yes, yes, you have to. You have to join both the GM and open the Google Classroom for the question. Okay. Oh, ini I am so angry lah. My laptop ni tak nak stop recording ni. <laughs>